The only two ways to get the fastest internet gaming speeds possible is to one, purchase a high-speed broadband connection, and two, buy a wireless router that can optimize that ISP connection. And a high-speed one or two gig plan is perfect for gaming. But if you have a cheap Wi-Fi 6 router, you're leaving a lot of speed on the table. So today, we have what we believe is the fastest gaming router on the planet. This is the TP-Link Archer GE800 Wi-Fi 7 gaming router. This is a tri-band BE19000, which means when adding up all three bands, the 2.4, the 5, and the 6 gigahertz band, you get a total of 19,000 megabits per second. And this router also gets up to 10 gigs on the wired side, if your ISP plan can handle it, and if you can afford it, because 10 gigs is very expensive. So in today's video, we're gonna speed test the GE800, both wired and wireless, and we're also going to test the gaming performance, because the GE800 is a gaming router. And this router includes a lot of cool gaming features, including game acceleration, game port forwarding, game statistics, game detector, and game diagnostics. And guys and gals, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. The GE800 features four 2.5 gig LAN ports and two 10 gig LAN ports. And both 10 gig LAN ports can be WAN ports as well. And one of the 10 gig ports also supports the high speed SFP plus interface. This router does support link aggregation, but does not support dual WAN. And great news, one of the 2.5 gig LAN ports can be used as a dedicated gaming port, which automatically prioritizes any device connected to it. And even better, you can also connect a switch to that port to increase the number of gaming devices. This router also includes a single USB 3.0 port for file sharing via Samba for Windows or Mac OS or Linux, or local FTP, internet FTP, and even includes Time Machine for file backups for Mac or Windows users. And this router also supports VLAN tagging and VPN server support. So let's take a look at the router's shape and size. This is by far the most unusual router I've ever come across. It seems like the majority of all high-end gaming routers seem to have a spider antenna look, with the eight antennas shooting up like legs. However, this router looks more like a Star Wars Command shuttle. Pretty cool. This router has two side wings that contain eight high-performance antennas, and these wings also contain programmable dynamic RGB lighting. And the button on the right controls the RGB modes. While this RGB lighting may look cool for gaming enthusiasts, it might annoy your wife or girlfriend, especially if this router is in the living room. The middle of the router contains all the components, including a quad-core CPU, two gigs of RAM, and yes, a cooling fan. And yes, this fan does make noise, so don't even think about putting this router in your bedroom. There are four buttons on the front of the router. You have a WPS button, a Wi-Fi on and off button, game acceleration button, and the RGB lighting button. Installing this router is pretty easy, and make sure to install it in the middle of the home for the best coverage. So connect the router to your modem via one of the two 10 gig ports on the back of the router using Cat6A if possible. Otherwise, use Cat6 or Cat5e. And remember, Cat6a is 10 gig. And then connect other wired devices to the 2.5 gig LAN ports. And we're gonna use our PS5 connection as the dedicated gaming port. We'll perform all our gaming tests using that port. Next, plug in the power and turn on the router. You'll need to wait a few minutes for the network to get up and running with the new IP addresses. Then next, access the router via the web interface the IP address for this router is 192.168.0.1. So let's take a quick look at the GE800 web interface. We can see it has a different look compared to the traditional TP-Link web interface. It has more of a gamey feel and I like it. At the top, we have six icons, network map, game center, internet, wireless, home shield, and advanced. The network map icon basically shows your network and all your devices. The game center icon reveals the game panel, which allows full control of the router's dynamic RGB lights. And there are 12 custom tabs to choose from. And my personal favorite is fire. And each tab can be customized with a specific color. Pretty cool. You can also monitor your networking traffic and your router performance in real time. And if there's a USB device connected to the router, it will show up here. The game dashboard reveals all the game configurations, like the gaming port, game application boost, game server acceleration, and game port forwarding. You will also see specific games under boosting games. These are the games you are currently playing. You can also pick a specific device to boost from your local network, like a PC or gaming console. 
The Game Acceleration tab includes QoS, and you definitely want this turned on. And if you're a gamer, choose the Games tab. Otherwise, pick a different tab. The Game Server Acceleration tab should also be turned on if you plan on using WT Fast. And just a heads up, this is not a free service. It will cost about $14 a month or $11 a month if you buy the yearly plan. This service does support over a thousand games and gives you the best routing with reduced latency and the lowest packet loss. Pretty cool. The next tab is Gear Acceleration, which simply prioritizes specific devices for faster connections. And we're gonna set our PS5 to top priority. If you want to port forward your PS5, Xbox, or PC, you can do this here. And let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on port forwarding a GE800. The next tab is Game Statistics, which reveals your network traffic game stats. The next tab is Game Detector, which shows real-time server pings for specific games. The last tab is Game Diagnostics, which allows for pinging or trace route of IP addresses or domain names. The next icon is Internet, which shows the WAN or WAN ports in use. The next icon is Wireless, which shows the wireless networks, SSIDs, and passwords. The next icon is Home Shield, which allows for scanning your network for security and performance stats. Also includes parental controls, QoS, and Home Shield Pro. And Home Shield Pro can be purchased to obtain extra features like real time protection and advanced parental controls. But to be brutally honest, I really wish these features were just included with the router. But that's how TP Link does their software. The last icon is advanced. And you can make a plethora of changes, like adding custom DNS, port forwarding, and adding an additional satellite device in the Easy Mesh tab. And now it's time for the speed tests, both wireless and wired. And lastly, we'll do some game tests. And we're going to reveal whether the GE800 makes a difference when gaming on your PS5. Okay, our first test is the wireless speed test. And we're going to start with a 6 gigahertz band at 10 feet using a laptop that supports Wi-Fi 7. And our speeds were very impressive, both download and upload. We saw almost 2,500 megabits per second download and nearly 2,100 megabits per second upload. On the five gigahertz band at 10 feet, we achieved 1,420 megabits per second download and nearly 1,900 megabits per second upload. And our long distance speed test at 40 feet, on the six gigahertz band, we achieved 518 megabits per second download and 334 megabits per second upload. On the five gigahertz band at 40 feet, we achieved 522 megabits per second download and 284 megabits per second upload. And these wireless speed test numbers were pretty impressive. All right, let's take a look at the 2.4 gigahertz band at 10 feet. We saw 219 megabits per second download and 165 megabits per second upload. And the 2.4 gigahertz band at 40 feet we achieved 158 megabits per second download and 133 megabits per second upload. And our multi-gig wired test over a CAT6A was 2,248 megabits per second download and 2,133 megabits per second upload. As far as the NAS performance goes, our read speeds were 231 megabytes per second and our write speeds were 168 megabytes per second. As far as the wireless coverage goes, we had no dead zones or signal loss, even at the furthest point from our router. And our home was around 2,800 square feet. As you can see on the schematic, the GE800 is in the center of the home, and this optimizes our Wi-Fi coverage. One of the great things about this Wi-Fi 7 router is that it supports the MLO feature right out of the box. And what this means is your Wi-Fi devices will simultaneously connect to all three bands and can seamlessly combine or switch network without any interruption. And this is a huge improvement over Smart Connect band steering, where a device can only be connected to one network at a time. As far as gaming on our PS5 goes, the G800 stole the show. This gaming router provides superb stability and high performance. And our seven day test of this router was nearly perfect. And our server connections were fast and stable. And we also saw no noticeable lag or latency. This router performed very well. The gaming quad acceleration feature, which is a combination of the QoS prioritization and a GPN, which stands for Gamers Private Network, 
which is kind of a VPN for gamers. This feature provides better routing than most ISPs can provide. And if your games are running on a foreign gaming server, which are typically slow and unreliable, then the WT Fast feature is a must. This feature will route your gaming traffic to a specialized gaming tunnel, which is designed to lower latency. And the GE800 firmware is the best I've ever seen and has an incredible user interface. And it's a massive upgrade over the older TP-Link software. And even better, all the gaming features actually worked as promised. And that's pretty rare for a gaming router because for the most part, gaming features are usually gimmicks and rarely provide any performance improvements. And the best feature on this router is the game acceleration engine. We play games wirelessly on our laptop and phones and saw zero connection issues or lag. And the QoS engine is amazing at detecting games and automatically prioritizing the game over other traffic. The TP-Link Archer GE800 is by far the best Wi-Fi 7 gaming router we've ever tested. It has powerful next generation hardware and best in class software. This router provides fantastic gaming stability and amazing networking performance, both wired and wireless. And that's thanks to the router's quad core CPU and high performance Wi-Fi 7 radio. If you're a competitive gamer, or Twitch streamer, or if you just love online games and you want that competitive edge, then the GE800 is a must have for your gaming arsenal. And it also looks amazing sitting next to your PlayStation, Xbox, or gaming PC. The GE800 is the future of Wi-Fi 7 gaming and is all you need for now and well into the future. The TP-Link Archer GE800 is priced at $599. And of course, we'll have the link in the description below. And if you're willing to spend $300 or $400 on a gaming router, then go the extra mile and get this router. You won't be sorry. This is by far the best Wi-Fi 7 gaming router on the market, guaranteed. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.